<laughs> Hello, my young grasshopper. I'm grabbing the mic. Hello, my young grasshopper, and welcome to another video. By now, I have done a few challenges where I approached strangers on the streets. I now want to share with you what I've learned by doing so in regard to approaching the stranger and in regard to filming these videos. Firstly, why do I even do such challenges or why do I call them a challenge? I'm an introvert. I've heard people respond to that with you, really? But yeah, very much. Any anxiety or emotions, you won't see it from the outside because I process everything internally to maintain my social skills. Every once in a while, I force myself to get out into the world, you know, out of my cave and interact with people, which was easier to do before Corona. So yeah, I deliberately put myself in situations which are outside of my comfort zone. And the results are those videos that you may or may not have seen. Secondly, social anxiety. I try to overcome it by doing, by teaching myself, no, you are probably not going to get punched in the face if you simply ask a stranger a question. The first Asking Strangers for Things video was shot in 2018. It's Strangers Share What Makes Them Happy. I will link it somewhere and you can watch it or not. Uh, this was relatively low barrier because all I'd have to do was go up to people and ask them this one line. Hello, may I ask you one question and record your response for my YouTube video? And apart from that, I also did... Uh, I got a stranger to do a tandem bungee with me and later on I asked strangers what they had on their bucket lists. Here's what I've learned and 8 tips you can use the next time you go on the streets with your camera to approach and film strangers. First point, if you want to film someone, don't go up to them with your camera up and you running towards them and point it at them. They will try to look at the lens and see if it's pointing in their direction, then only be worried about the fact that they're being filmed, maybe against their will. What I did instead was I hung the camera around my neck or I just let it dangle in my hand. Second point, if you want to film someone up close, ask for permission. Seriously, ask for permission first. In the What's Happiness videos, I had finally gathered the nerves to start approaching people, got out the camera, was scouting for whoever was nearby. The first stranger I saw, I asked, may I ask you one question? She responded with yes. And then I just swung the camera straight up in her face. She was not happy. I got told off so bad. And she asked me to delete the footage. So maybe it's a good thing that happened straight at the beginning because every interaction thereafter, I first asked, not only may I ask you a question, but also is it okay if I film your response for my YouTube video? Third point, approach people from where they can see you. Don't sneak up on them from the back or jump out of nowhere from a bush. Just imagine you're walking on the street and suddenly someone taps you on your shoulder and swings a camera in your face. A bit uncomfortable and intimidating. And you'll probably get told to go away before you can even ask your question. Point, oh that's eight. Four, rejections are inevitable. Expect plenty of them. You're gonna hear no's. Okay. But remember that people have the right to do so and this has nothing to do with you. If they don't want to be in your video, then they don't. They don't need to. And when someone says no, thank them anyway and move on to the next person. Five. I'm not gonna sing. Package your message in an easy to understand, short one-liner. Make it easy for whoever you're talking to to decline or accept your request. Make it straightforward what you're offering them or asking from them. Six. Um, <clears throat> so this one is more related to the filming your footage and less to interacting with the strangers. But when you're out filming interviews, let's call them interviews, you might want to take into account from which direction the wind is coming. Because otherwise you have very crappy audio uh, to edit or to try and correct later. And it's gonna be a challenge if you have shitty audio to begin with. So if possible, don't stand on a straight open field, but find a shielded spot from the wind where you can better hear the person you're interviewing. Number seven, that fountain may not sound so loud when you're standing right next to it or close to it, but it will be loud when you're editing audio and it will be annoying. So if possible, get away from the loud noises and your viewers will be thankful to you, especially the ones wearing earphones when watching, whatever. 
back to approaching people, peoply aspect. Try to come across as self-confident, calm, and just plain friendly. You're asking strangers for a favor, and kindness could be the thing that opens the door. The door to more. To more, not to more door. That's not funny. I hope some of this was useful to you or interesting. I have no idea. Let me know in the comments or not. It's up to you. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Having now done a few challenges where I approached stay Really do. Since I started to... Since...